You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about is the difference between scarcity and abundant mindset. Um, one of the things that I'm working on is uh, something called the Sprint to Freedom, which is a entrepreneurial um, membership for people that are moving from a full-time job into their own uh, digital business. And one of the main um, obstacles that that people have in moving from a full-time job into their own business is the fear of lack, the fear that they're not going to have enough money, the fear that they're going to run out, the fear that they're not going to be able to pay their bills and, and so on. And so um, I will call that a scarcity mentality or a scarcity mindset. How do you know when you're operating from a scarcity mindset? Well, for one, you have fear, right? Fear is a huge indicator that you have a scarcity mindset. Uh, you know, you're afraid to try anything. You're afraid to start. You're afraid to keep going because in your mind, you have this idea that you don't have enough or you're not going to have enough, right? So that fear is driving your decision making. Your decision making is fear based right? It's not based on data. It's not based on uh, your abilities. It's based on fear, right? And any decision rooted in fear is more often than not going to be the wrong one, right? So that's the first thing uh, that indicates you're operating from a scarcity mindset. The second thing is hesitancy. And it's kind of like a cousin to fear, right? You're, You're hesitating. Like you get a hot idea, you get a hot, you know, um, business plan and you get real excited about it and then you hesitate. And it's like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if it's going to work. You know, what are people going to think about me? Right. So that, that hesitant, um, activity, that hesitant feeling, that hesitant way of acting, uh, is also rooted in scarcity mindset because ultimately that fear is that you're not going to have enough. That fear is that you're going to run out. That fear is that, you know, people aren't going to like you. People aren't going to, uh, you know, see you the same. And, you know, all all these things that, you know, basically stop us from, from doing any good thing, especially, uh, you know, based in a business context, right? And then the last thing is basically doubt, right? And doubt, again, can be a cousin to fear. And, and, you know, doubt basically means that on the one hand, you're excited, you're ready to do this thing, you're ready to jump out. And then on the other hand, you're hesitant, right? So it's like mixing the two together. And, you know, doubt basically weakens, you know, your confidence, it weakens your faith, it weakens your belief in yourself. And it's not something that you really can succeed long-term with. You've got to remove the doubt. But for most people, even when you try to remove the doubt, it tends to come back because you're operating from scarcity. You're operating from a scarcity mentality. So what's the answer to that? The answer is to operate from an abundance mentality. You're not broke, right? Regardless of how much money you have in your bank account right now, you're not broke, right? Your bank account is an indicator of how much you've exchanged your innate wealth for the wealth of the earth, material wealth, right? Um, Everyone has wealth. Everyone has value. But if you don't exchange it, then you end up broke. You end up not having, okay? So, you have to operate from an abundance mentality. And when I say operating from an abundance mentality, uh, the first indicator that you're doing that successfully is confidence, 
right? You're not afraid of anything. You're not afraid of uh, going broke. You're not afraid of not having enough because you're confident in your ability to exchange whatever you have for whatever it is that you want, okay? Um, the second uh, indicator of abundance mentality is you're action-oriented. You're not waiting to take action. You're not waiting for things to get better. You're not waiting for market conditions to improve, but you're taking action now. Uh, one of the things in, in investing people say all the time is, is that you can't time the market. You can't uh, time when the right time is to buy or the right time to sell. You know, you basically have to react to market conditions. And sometimes when you react, uh, especially because information moves so quickly and, you know, you're also dealing with, you know, things like insider trading, you can't always predict a hundred percent. You can't always be right. And you can't always be on time, uh, in, when making an investment decision. So most, um, investment gurus and successful ones, such as uh, Warren Buffett and of the world, you know, they they essentially say to invest consistently, right? Just continue to invest, right? You know, don't ignore the news, but have a mindset that you're going to be in it for the long term, as opposed to, uh, you know, being a swing trader or being a day trader. Not that you can't make money doing either of those, but it, it's a lot more difficult, right? Um, when you operate from an abundance mentality and abundance mindset, you're constantly taking action, right? Forward. You're all, you're always moving forward. You're moving forward, um, as a rule, as a strategy, right? You're putting out content, you're putting out products, you're putting out, you know, uh, offers and, and things like that, because, you know, you know that you have a, you have wealth on the inside of you. You're not afraid of what the response will be uh, because you're operating from an abundance mentality. You're operating from a limitless supply of wealth that we all have on the inside, right? And then the final indicator of an abundance mentality is patience, right? Um, because here's the thing. When you operate from scarcity, you know, you're afraid, like, you know, if my, if, if what you put out isn't working or, you know, even if you send a resume and you're not getting a response from it, that's a little scary, right? Especially if you don't have any other things going on, if you don't have any other money coming in, it can be very scary. Uh, you know, but when you operate from an abundance mentality, you know that, hey, I got a ton of wealth, you know, within me. Like I have limitless, like I said, a limitless supply, a limitless wealth, a limitless amount of value that all I have to do is exchange it with the world and I will get what I need in the short term. And I don't have to be afraid of running out. I don't have to be afraid of scarcity because I'm operating from abundance. Right. There's much more I can say about this topic, but I'm going to leave it off here and hopefully it helps you. If you are ready to take that leap into your own business, if you're ready to take that leap into entrepreneurship um, and building that side business while you work, uh, I invite you to join us in the Sprint to Freedom. Uh, doors open on November 6th. We're going to start and we're just going to, um, you know, put out our offers and uh, you know, I'll do a little bit of teaching, but it's really more of uh, a membership in which I'm doing it with you, right? Because, you know, I think the more people you have pulling in a direction, the more successful everyone will be. So I'm inviting people to jump in with us and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the link is in the description box if you want to know more. And that will be it for today. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying Mental Recoding by Playbook Strategies. 
These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind.